Hello students, Mr. Bastias here. Welcome to Unit 6, Week 1, Day 3. Make sure you have your meaning mapper, article a day, your book of knowledge, and paper and pencil to write with. Today, we will learn about two other African American heroes and learn how they inspired changes in the world by using their influence. Look at this image. Pay attention to the posters the kids are holding. Use your graphic organizer to jot down details you observe what the image makes you think, and some wonderings you have about the information. Share with your friends your idea on why are the children in the picture protesting. Pause the video and take a moment to do this now. Here is what I wrote down in my organizer. I see people protesting. They are holding signs. This makes me think of the protest in the 1960s for civil rights and from the Black Lives Matter protest from summer 2020 here in New York City. The kids holding the sign look very young. I wonder, did they organize this protest? I think they did. I want you to think of our focus word, influence. Influence is the power to cause change in something. Think of three ways you can influence someone to do something. Pause the video and take a moment to do this now. I'm going to share what I wrote. I can influence my friend to come hang out with me. I can influence my mom to make what I want for dinner. I can influence students to do their homework. Influence is the power to get someone to do something. So I can influence my friend to come hang out with me. I can influence my mom to make what I want for dinner. And I can influence students to do their work. Let's dive into our article a day. The title is Edmonia Lewis. Have you ever heard of Edmonia Lewis? Why do you think she's an African-American hero? Some students have never heard of Edmonia Lewis, but she was an artist. We're going to read more about her in our article today. Let's get started. Edmonia Lewis was the first professional African-American sculptor. She made sculptures of abolitionists, presidents, and figures inspired by poetry and her background. A sculpture is something that people make as a piece of art. In Spanish, we say escultura. Inspired means to stimulate or influence someone to do something by stirring their emotions. In Spanish, we say inspirar. Inspired and influence are very similar words. This is a picture of one of Lewis's sculptures. An abolitionist is someone who supported the end of slavery before the Civil War. And Monier Lewis made sculptures of people who were abolitionists. So they wanted to end slavery. And Monia was born in New York. Her father was African-American. Her mother was Native American. She moved to Boston when she was about 19 years old. She started to learn how to make sculptures while she was there. She started to make sculptures of abolitionists like John Brown. John Brown was a person who fought to end slavery. A few years later, Edmonia traveled to Europe. She decided to live in Rome, Italy for a while. She continued to make sculptures there. Unlike most sculptures working in Rome at the time, Edmonia made her sculptures without help from others. She created sculptures of presidents Abraham Lincoln and Ulysses S. Grant. She made a sculpture inspired by her Native American background. This sculpture showed a father teaching his daughter how to make an arrow. Look at Lewis's sculpture. It shows a Native American father teaching his son how to make an arrow. And remember, Edmonia Lewis was half African American and half Native American. So she's using her culture to influence her sculptures. Many of Edmonia Lewis's sculptures have been lost. The ones that have survived show how talented Edmonia really was. Talented means having a natural skill or gift in some activity. In Spanish, we say talentoso. 
And Monia was very talented because she could make sculptures without any help. Please take out your book of knowledge. Write down two or three things you learned from the article and would like to remember. Pause the video and take a moment to do this now. I'm going to go back to my article today to find evidence that I can add to my book of knowledge. The first thing I learned is that Edmonia Lewis was the first professional African American sculptor. I'm going to write that down. I learned that Edmonia Lewis was the first professional African American sculptor. I also learned that Edmonia Lewis made sculptures inspired or influenced by her background. I also learned that in sculptures inspired or influenced by her background. This makes me think of Greek sculptures such as the ones here on the right, because the article was about a sculptor of Greek sculptures, because the article Greek sculpture. Please take out your meaning mapper. In the middle, we have our focus word, influence. Remember, influence is the power to cause change in something or to make people act or change in some way. We've already added the word encourage, but what other word could you add to your meaning mapper that relates to the word influence? I added the word inspire, because when you inspire someone, you can influence them to do something. Edmonia Lewis was inspired by her background to create her sculptures. And that's it for me, students. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.